Hey guys, I got a question. Have you ever come to an enclave to recruit a survivor? Looked at their fifth skill and thought, what the hell is painting? In this video, we'll be going over all these quirky fifth skills so you guys can finally get an understanding on what exactly they will do for your group. All right, guys, let's get right into this. So these fifth skills, um, they can either benefit the whole community, um, individual survivors that have the skill. Um, they can give you anything from daily influence, parts, resource income, extra beds, labor, um, extra outpost slots, food consumption reduction, uh, global speed action bonus, knowledge, like different knowledges, radio commands, and any they can even reduce zombie threat. All right, guys, so the first skill we're going to go over here is acting. Now, acting gives you a plus 100% standing reward. So what that means is to go from recruit to civilian to hero, they gain experience 100% faster than everybody else. And then you also get a plus 10% influence gain, which is pretty beneficial Um for the community anything you do gives you 10 percent more influence so killing play cards killing zombies anything like that um but outside of that that's about all it does i wouldn't say it's great um realistically i, I probably would never really want to go for this but i mean some of you might find use in this so that's acting all right guys now the next skill now this is a skill you actually just don't want guys animal facts um if you ever see the skill, do not pick up a survivor with the skill. It is a 100% dead fifth skill. It actually has no useful effects whatsoever. So um, if you guys do see this skill, um, don't waste your time on it. All right, guys. So the next skill we're going to be going over is bartending. Bartending is a pretty good skill. It's nice to have at least one person with this skill. It's um, And it's a pretty easy skill to get, especially if you get one of the survivors from the alcohol... Um, people the people that want to build a still and stuff like that so what they get from having bartending is you get the knowledge of alcoholic beverages and the knowledge of alcoholic beverages is pretty good guys um it allows you to mix a round of drinks in the lounge um it reduced the cost by two ethanol so um it's two less ethanol you got to uh, spend to mix that round of drinks and then from the still the still to convert ethanol into whiskey um you craft one extra bottle of decent bourbon with the bar or knowledge of alcoholic beverages and you also get a facility mod boost from the mini bar which increases uh increased morale boost uh for an additional 15 minutes guys which is huge um and that's all for just having the knowledge of alcoholic beverages all right, so for the knowledge of cooking, you will gain um, the produce food option, um, reduce seeds and ethanol required by two in the kitchen. So it allows you to produce full food out of your kitchen facility um, for cheaper. All right, guys. So the next skill we're going to be going over here is the business skill. Now, the business skill gives you the knowledge of influence, which a lot of you guys are probably, what the hell is that? Knowledge of influence, what that means, uh, well, the only boost that gives is when you have a level three command center, when you do, do the satellite broadcast, you get uh, plus 5%. So you'll end up with a total of 25% on the satellite broadcast instead of the 20 now additionally on top of the knowledge of influence you get a plus 10 percent influence gain and you also get 35 influence per day so for every in-game day that passes you will just get 35 influence which isn't huge um if that was more like one or 200 this skill would be like super duper good i, I would really like it but only being 35 influence a day that it's not really all that much you know across 10 in-game days which is about you know well over 10 hours of gameplay you're only looking at 350 influence so if this was buffed up a little more and gave more influence per day anywhere you know even 100 200 influence um it would be a really good skill but you also get that additional 10 percent influence gain on anything you do such as killing plague hearts and just like acting so um I, like i said this is another skill i really wouldn't 
want to pick up. Um, but maybe some of you guys can find some really, really good, useful ways to use this skill. All right, guys. Next, we have the fifth skill, comedy. This skill is pretty straightforward. Um, once again, the person gets the 100% standing reward, so they'll gain their um, standing a lot faster. And they also just give a straight flat plus six morale, guys, which is pretty good. Um, so if you're having morale issues in your base, um, getting your hands on somebody with comedy will give you just a flat plus six morale bonus. All right, guys, here we have another pretty decent one. This one I've seen quite a bit. I've still never really used it, but this one actually comes in handy for the most part. So design gives you the knowledge of arts, guys. And the passive boost that you gain from the knowledge of arts, um, the art gallery in the barricaded street strip mall um, command center gives plus 10 morale instead of plus three. So that's a very niche um, skill. But if you guys are in that barricaded strip mall in the art gallery command center, you'll gain an additional seven influence just for having somebody with design. All right, so on top of the knowledge of arts, you also gain the knowledge of craftsmanship, which we all know craftsmanship is a very, very useful skill. Um, it allows you to build the forge, uh, the level two upgrade to the barracks facility. Um, it gives you the ability to craft the rebar club out of the forge, um, craft the mower blade sword out of the forge. It also allows you to, out of the workshop, you can craft crossbow bolts. Um, you cr you increase the amount crafted by 10. So if you guys use a lot of crossbows and you're crafting your own bolts, um, using the somebody with craftsmanship, um, even from the design skill, instead of crafting like I think it's 30 um, light bolts, you'll craft 40. And instead of crafting 20 standard bolts, you'll craft 30. So you gain um, or no, no, that's just for the additional um, you gain 10 on regular bolts and then you gain 15 on light bolts and it reduces the time to craft ammo by six minutes so when you're producing ammo in your workshop um the knowledge of craftsmanship will reduce the time by six minutes guys which is pretty good now also for the storage facility the scrap materials for parts it increases the amount of parts crafted by five so you just get a flat extra five parts there and then for a facility mod boost, the improvised weapon station, um, when you craft the lead filled bat, it reduces the parts required by 150. So that's um, that that's really, really good guys. Um, those those bats are pretty expensive. I think they're upwards to like two, like 300 parts or something like that. So having this will reduce that by quite a bit. And then on top of that, you just get a flat plus 50% facility action speed guys, which is also really, really good. So overall guys, the design skill is actually probably one of the really good weird skills. All right guys. So let's hop into the next one, which is driving now the driving skill is one that a lot of us are probably pretty familiar with um it's a very good skill i would advise you to at least have one survivor in your group that has driving um they gain 100 percent fuel efficiency right off the top so they're they're way better on fuel the vehicles uh have a plus 50 vehicle endurance so they literally are a lot more tanky um, especially in the higher difficulties um, where the vehicles are a lot softer it allows you to still be able to hit zombies um, a lot easier without you know blowing up your car after running over you know two or three zombies and you get plus 50 percent vehicle stealth which means the vehicles are just quieter all around you can drive around more zombies and when you go into a town or something you're gonna pull less zombies around um, when you get into that area so if you have some an area you want to go loot out putting having somebody with the driving skill it's it's very good to have them drive into the town park the car and start looting so all right guys so next we have another weird one um it is called excuses um this one is pretty simple it literally just gives you a flat plus 10 morale um which is pretty good. That is uh, quite a bit of morale to get from a fifth skill. So if you guys are hurting on morale, uh, 
grab somebody with excuses. It's it's a really really huge uh, morale boost. Next skill we have is super weird. It's just called farting around, guys. Um, this is another skill that just gives a flat ten morale. Um, so this with excuses, uh, that that's quite a bit of morale. That's plus twenty morale right there. So this is another one if you need a morale boost. If you see somebody with the farting around skill, um, jump on it, guys. All right, guys. So this skill right here, the fishing skill, is actually one I am very familiar with. I love this skill. I think it is super good. Um, when I'm going into new zones, new difficulties, uh, especially when I was jumping into like the nightmare zone, modded difficulty where food management was a hard thing to keep up on. Um, I would always roll somebody with the fishing skill. So fishing just gives you plus two food per day, flat, just plus two food. Um, it's better than outposts uh it's literally like having two food outposts at the moment so right now fishing is very very good if you guys are having issues with food or you just want somebody um that will just give you a nice bump in your food jump on somebody with the fishing skill guys it's really really worth it the next skill we are going to be discussing is called geek trivia now this skill it's it's all right um nothing you just get a plus six morale boost um and then you get a plus 50 percent experience rate so they gain all of their skills 50 percent faster um so this isn't one that affects standing this actually just ex uh affects their experience rate gain which is experience rate which is really good um but then pop culture knowledge is actually pointless it doesn't um it doesn't affect anything it doesn't increase anything it doesn't give you any boost no anything so it's kind of pointless so maybe in the future they're going to add something in the game where pop culture now knowledge will affect but as of right now it doesn't affect anything in the live game all right guys so the next skill here is actually a very good one um if you're having a hard time finding chemistry hairdressing is the way to go guys it gives you the knowledge of chemistry which is just like having the basic chemistry it gives you everything chemistry gives you um from literally uh the converting of the food to fuel converting food to ethanol converting ethanol so it gives you all the still functions you can make energy drinks still in the kitchen with it um it allows you to upgrade your still to level two um then it gives you all of the bonuses which chemistry guys is super good when it comes to bonuses when it comes to crafting so you get an extra two firecrackers um extra two uh box mines when you craft them you get um it costs less chemicals it costs two less chemicals and it reduced the part cost to produce ammo by 33 percent um when you craft molotovs you get three extra molotovs when you craft fuel bombs you get three extra fuel bombs when you craft fireworks you get two extra of those um Crafting weak painkillers, you get one extra of weak, the regular painkillers, and when you produce meds, it reduces the production time by 33%. And then um, with the advanced biochem station, you get one extra of, you know, everything that you, cr you craft. So the bloater grenades, zombie, and the gas launcher ammo, uh, when you craft one of those, when you have uh, knowledge of chemistry, you get one extra of all of those. So uh it's it's really really good guys chemistry affects a lot of things in the game i think it's one of the it's it's very easily overlooked you know because it's not as flashy as like mechanics or medicine but at the end of the day like quality of life it really does increase a lot of stuff and then um you get your plus 10 percent influence gained um on top of that so all around hairdressing is another one that i find to be pretty good all right guys so next we're going to jump into the hygiene skill this skill is uh also a very very good one it gives you a plus 100 resistance to uh infection resistance so it makes your people less prone to the blood plague which uh is very very useful guys um especially if you're playing in higher difficulties modded difficulties stuff like that this is a very very useful skill um when blood plague is harder to cure or just more prominent on the map and then you just get a flat plus 20 to your max health which is always welcome guys so um this is a very good skill uh if, if 
you know, you're looking for health and somebody to, to make somebody a little more tanky. All right, guys. So the next one is the Ikibana skill. Now, this skill is all right. Um, it's kind of a powerhouse with morale if you pair it with the knowledge of arts, which is we remember from before with the um, arts gallery and the barricaded strip mall. You gain 10 morale from that, and this gives you an extra uh, six on top of that. So you would be gaining 16 morale from that. Um, barricaded strip mall art gallery and uh then you get plus 10 influence a day so it's just a little bit of a uh, influence very niche like i said you got to be staying in a certain base to really be maximizing off of this but uh, at the end of the day it's not it's not terrible but it, it's you know it's it's just there for the morale so if that's something you guys want to check out check it out all right guys so real quick this one's pretty straightforward um the same thing as earlier you get the knowledge of influence um, which obviously affects the level three command center satellite. Uh, you can, uh, the satellite broadcast, you get an extra five or extra 5% uh, on that. And uh, you gain extra 10% uh, influence. So not really all that great. Um, you know, it's, it, it is what it is, but yeah. All right, guys. So this is a big one here. This skill like analogy is amazing. I consider this skill to be on par with some of the red talent skills. Um, it gives you the knowledge of gardening, which is amazing. Um, so this could be your, your nightmare zone gardener. It also gives you the knowledge of herbalism. So you can plant medicine. So uh, without even having to specialize, you can have your garden, which would get you your level one or level two gardening. And then you can also switch your gardens over to meds with the same skill. And on top of that, guys, you get plus two meds per day. This skill is a powerhouse trait. So if you guys do ever get a chance to get your hands on this, it is a very good skill. You can actually get this skill book from the Rare Skills Trader, um, along with a lot of these skills. Um, so some of these you can get through the Rare Skills Trader. But yes, if you guys do get a chance, make sure you guys have somebody in your community with this skill. All right, so literature is the next skill. Now, this skill is kind of blah, blah. It's kind of like the rest of them. Um, you get a little bit of a morale boost. This one, though, gives you uh, an experience rate gain on top of the knowledge of art. So this is a powerhouse uh, for the strip mall art gallery um, combo that I was telling you guys about earlier. Plus this specific survivor on top of giving you all that morale also would gain the rest of their skills uh, 100% faster. So All right, that. making coffee is the next skill. Now this skill gives you the knowledge of coffee preparation, which uh, in, the in the kitchen when you make coffee, it increases uh, coffee brewed by two. So you'll gain two extra coffee um, using this a person with this skill and it boosts plus four morale for six minutes. Um, when you brew some coffee. So it's a nice little uh, morale boost on top of um, getting extra um, fatigue items. And then on top of that, you can boost the espresso machine. So if you have the espresso machine mod installed in your kitchen, you're making some espresso or um, you're making espresso at the little espresso stand outpost, um, you gain um, plus three morale for six minutes doing that also. So this is another way to sit there and combat morale loss. So on top of the knowledge of coffee preparation, you also get the knowledge of cooking. So this is a pretty good skill. Um, if making coffee or running the espresso stand, fatigue management is something that you, uh, you are, you know, trying to keep up on. Uh, some people do like to like play one survivor or one or two survivors, run them down, actually use fatigue guys items to keep them in a the fight. Um, this is something that will, uh, you know, benefit that play style. All right, guys, movie trivia, pretty bad one. It's, it's, it's all right. You get a little bit of a morale boost plus six morale. Um, the survivor will gain 50%, uh, experience rate, which is, you know, pretty good. And, uh, but then you get the pop, the pop culture knowledge, which like I told you guys before, um, is worthless. It doesn't, it doesn't affect anything right now. So movie of trivia is, uh, it's all right. All right. So music 
is an all right skill. Um, you gain plus six morale. You have the plus 100% standing reward gain. Um, and with this skill, you gain 25 influence a day. Just every day, you'll get a little bit of uh, influence on top. And then you also gain the knowledge of arts. So, like I said, this could be potentially a morale powerhouse. Um, but with the standing reward gain and the plus 25 influence, it's, it's, it's a little bit better. It makes it better than the others. So... That's music for you guys. So lo and behold, guys, there it is, the painting skill. Um, for those guys who don't know what it is, it's pretty trash. Um, I actually used to think painting wasn't bad. I, I never got it, but I used to think, oh, well, painting, maybe they know about chemicals. So I thought you might get chemistry. No, guys, it, it's nothing like that. You get a plus six morale boost. Um, you get 25 influence a day and you get the knowledge of arts. So it, it's 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 music minus the 100% uh standing gain so it's really not that great um obviously it's not 100% pointless so if you guys do see a use in this um there you go that there is painting so on to the next skill guys we have people skills gain 100% standing reward knowledge and influence and you get the plus 10% influence gained it's it's an all right skill all right, so one that is probably overlooked because of the name, but pinball, guys, is actually a pretty good skill. I would say it's up there with some of the better um, quirky fifth skills. This one gets you 100% shooting experience rate gain. So your person will max out their shooting 100% faster. And then on top of that, guys, you gain the knowledge of mechanics. So obviously you'll be able to do everything that you can do with a regular mechanic, crafting toolkits, um, utilizing a bunch of the workshop functions, getting your level two workshop, all of that stuff um, you'll be able to do with somebody with pin the pinball skill so this skill don't overlook it guys if you guys need a mechanic aren't worried about specializing in like auto mechanics and all and all that um this skill is actually pretty good and like i said your survivor will gain uh shooting experience 100 percent faster so keep an eye out for this one guys all right next here we have poker face which uh, is pretty straightforward you just get a plus 20 or you get plus 20 to your max stamina which is always welcome. And then you get a plus 10% influence gain for everything you do. So all in all, it's it's all right. It's an all right skill. All right, here we have political science. Um, it's kind of like the other ones. You gain uh, plus 100% to your standing reward gain, um, plus 25 influence per day, which is whatever. And uh, then you gain the knowledge of influence. So it's pretty blah, um, but that's what it does. All right, so this is a skill that doesn't sound like much, especially if you guys don't know what it is. Recycling, though, is a awesome skill, guys. It gives you plus two materials per day, and on top of that, you gain 25 parts per day. So it's it's definitely a very good skill when it comes to needing to, you know, to up that material gain. Um, get, get somebody with recycling, guys. You can roll um, all of these skills, obviously, through the uh, character select screen when you first start your game. So if you're looking for somebody to give you a little bit more materials, try to roll somebody with recycling. All right, guys. So the scrum certification, this is also a very good skill to get your hands on. Um, this is another one that can be obtained through the rare skills trader or rolled. Um, you get plus 50% global action build speed. You get plus 50% facility action speed. And then you just get plus two extra labor at the base, guys. This is a very good skill if you are um, having issues with labor. Um, check out the scrum skill get somebody with it in your base and uh yeah you will enjoy it oh this skill is pretty straightforward self premonition all you get is uh you get the plus 100 percent standing reward gain and uh knowledge and influence so it's it's not much but it's better than nothing all right guys so another skill that um is probably seen quite often this is an, another one that is very good guys um the sewing skill you gain plenty plus 20 or 20 to your max health right off the bat that that's already by itself a really great thing then you get plus two max consumable stacks so this combined with things like resourcefulness um and things like that you can really get your stack sizes pretty good so um 
having somebody with sewing is a very good skill. Like I said, you get the plus 20 to your max health. You get the the um, the consumable stack increase. And then on top of that, guys, you get the knowledge of craftsmanship. So that covers a whole bunch of bases, this skill. So sewing, if you're looking for somebody with craftsmen, if you have some space in your base for a craftsman, um, grab somebody with sewing, guys. It's just that survivor is just a little bit better. Obviously, yes, you won't be able to specialize, you know, in the advanced craftsmanship skills. But still, um, if all you need is that base level craft craftsmanship, getting somebody with sewing is just as good, if not better. All right, guys. So here we go. This skill. If you get somebody with the sexting skill, literally walk them outside your base and feed them to a feral because it is the worst skill in the game. It honestly, it doesn't even just not do anything. It actually does bad. Um, you lose five influence every day just for having this skill. That's it. There, there's no, there's nothing. So if you see somebody with the sexting skill, don't, don't even waste your time. Literally just either exile them kill them do do whatever um they are not worth having in your base all right guys and now we have sports trivia now sports trivia is another one guys that's actually pretty good um the survivor will get a plus 100 percent cardio experience rate they will gain um plus 100 percent fighting experience rate they will get 20 plus 20 to their max stamina and then they get knowledge of sports which um allows you to get the endurance um training regime and a level one fighting gym instead of having to upgrade it to a level two so sports uh trivia is actually pretty good um all around uh i i don't mind the skill myself it's uh it, it's pretty decent guys so if you do are interested in something like that uh jump on it all right, so pretty straightforward skill here, guys. Soundproofing um, just helps out around your base, especially when your base starts getting bigger. You start getting more survivors. Your zombie threat just naturally is going to keep going up. Getting somebody with soundproofing um, will drop that zombie threat by three, uh, which is pretty significant. So uh, it's a pretty good skill to get. So if you guys are having issues with zombie threat, uh, make sure you guys get somebody with soundproofing. All right, guys. So another skill that is overlooked, I'm pretty sure. Um, tattoos, guys. If you find somebody that has the no or has the tattoo skill, um, it's not bad. It will give you the knowledge of medicine. You'll gain the knowledge of arts, and you'll also gain 10% influence gain. So if you need somebody with medic medicine, um, get somebody with tattooing. Like I said, if uh, you don't need that, them specialized versions of medicine in your uh, community, having somebody with tattoos will give you those extra little perks on top of it. And last but not least, guys, TV trivia. This skill is uh, gives you plus six morale. You gain 50% experience rate and you get the knowledge of pop culture, which obviously I told you it, it's pointless right now. So it's not a bad skill. It's not a good skill. Um, it's just a skill at this point. So um, that that's all of the quirky skills, guys. Um, obviously, I didn't go over any of the red talent skills. Those will be in another video. Um, and if you guys want me to go over the main skills in more detail to maybe explain exactly what you can actually get out of all of them, let me get, know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, if you guys learned something, hey, hit the video with a like. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We do a lot of State of Decay. Um, content on this channel so if you guys ever have any questions join my discord ask we have a lot of people that can help you out with trades help you out with any type of information that you may need so join the discord subscribe to the channel join us on live stream some nights and uh yeah guys i really appreciate you guys watching the video i hope you guys learned something and i'll see you guys in the next one peace <laughs>